All right, this is the walkthrough for the song Res Power by Israel Houghton. We are doing this one in the key of A, which is a whole step lower than the original key. And um, it's a tricky song. Uh, rhythmically, it's a very tricky song, and a lot of things that, happening, or that are happening, and it's also a fast song, so you have to definitely pay attention. Um, now, on the good side, um, there are, the underlying chords are very, very simple, and uh, a lot of times very repetitive. Uh, not as repetitive as some of our songs, but um, some of the songs we do, but um, still very repetitive. And uh, so as long as you learn that section by section and you're constantly thinking about what's coming up next, uh, you should be fine, you know, so once you get the hang of it. So uh, let's take a look at the different sections. This first section we're going to look at will be the chorus. Now the very first time you do the chorus, you won't come in until the words shout unto God. We'll get to that in a second. Uh, but the first part of the chorus from the opening vamp uh, to the oh clap your hands all you people will be just electric and drums. Um, but let's look at the other choruses um, just so because uh, you will come in and play throughout those. So when we get to the oh clap your hands all you people you're going to go um, you're going to do these octaves. There's an A, uh, A octave. What I'm doing is uh, fifth, um, first finger on the fifth fret of the E string. Um, third finger on the seventh fret of the D string, mute the A string in the middle. So you just get, so you got, the, there's your A, you're going to do that three times. Then you're going to do an octave on the C sharp. C sharp will be the fourth fret of the A and the sixth fret of the G, mute all the other strings. And so you do three, three A's, three C sharps, and then four F sharps. So you've got first finger on the second fret of the E, third finger on the fourth fret of the D, so I'm, and I'm strumming up and down. You're probably going to want to do, do a lot of down, up, down, up, down, up throughout the song, or you'll wear yourself out. This is a fast one. So, so it's going to go one, two, three, four. Now the second time around is almost the same, except you'll add an E. You can either add, um, I had a hard time getting the octave E um, that quick. Um, so I'm still kind of working on that. So you have an option. You can either like just play the low string E, or you can do a very quickly just a little power chord E. As long as you just play it and mute it, you should be fine. Nobody will really hear. So it's like a three, four, like that. So with a with a uh, metronome, it'll be one, two, three, four, three, four. One more time. One, two, three, four. Three, four, three, four. Okay. Now when we go into shout unto God, it's going to have kind of a halftime feel, and you're going to play just full chords. What I'm doing there is bum bum bum. Uh, it's like like this. Three, four. Like that. So all together, that chorus will go one, two, three, four. Three, four. Three, four. Half time there. Now, um, you usually do that part twice. Then it comes into the voice of triumph. This is probably one of the trickier parts of the song. Um, the chords are simple. That's a good thing, but the rhythm is very exact and very short, kind of, you know, police style. It's like, um... So it's like, um, one, two, three, four. First, first bits on, on a D chord are three downstrokes. One, two, three, and then the A chord comes on the, the and of four. So probably best to strum that up. So it'd be like, one, two, three. And then that pattern, you got the and of four, and then the um, and of one, and then two, three, four. Uh, so it's taking it at a slow tempo, two, three, four. Right there, I just did the same thing with the next two chords, um, E, which will be one, two, three and then the B minor comes in the end of four. So again, slowly it's going to go one, two, three, four. And then 
when you get into, when you lead into the verse, the, the D is going to be on the and of four for the verse. So you make sure you strum that up. So whenever you're strumming, um, whenever it's on a quarter note on the beat, you want to strum down. Whenever it's off the beat, you want to strum up. And if you get used to that, that'll, that'll really help with the strumming. So that was at a slow speed. Um, let's take a look at it. This is at, this is going just a little bit faster. I'm not sure it doesn't get 164, but um, here's 168. It'll be one, two, three, four. Three, four. Three, four. Three, four. Three, four. So there, that's probably the trickiest part of the song is that chorus. So uh, work on that um, quite a bit. And if you can work on it with that with a metronome, that's even better. Just to you know get some of the chops down and make sure it's tight. It's because you're going to be playing along with the drummer, and uh, it's got to be exact and right on it. So now verse, it will also kind of, at least in the guitar will kind of have a halftime feel. Um, same chords D A E B minor. So it'll be like. Then we get to the singing Hallelujah, Jesus is Alive, singing Hallelujah, Jesus is That last E, just drum one, and two, and three, and four, like that. So, so that's your first verse. Um, then it goes to the chorus again. Second verse is um, a little bit different. It's half as long, for one. So you got the, you are the hope of broken. And then we go to the singing hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jesus. The chords change. It'd be B minor, F sharp. So far it's the same. Then Jesus, D. So far the same. Now we do a B7. And then alive, which is going to go... So it's uh, what that is is E for a total of uh, almost three measures. So it's um, uh, one, and two, and three, and four, and two, and two, and three, and four, and three, and two, and three, and four. And then on the that third measure of the E on the and of four, you're going to do a um, F octave. It's actually not a mistake when you see it in there, and uh, just make sure you listen to it. It's a little, kind of a cool little thing they do. It's kind of a uh, key change fake out. They don't actually key change keys, but it sounds like they're about to. So it's um, like that. So that whole E pattern goes. Three, two, three, four. So that whole line singing hallelujah will go. Hallelujah, Jesus is alive. So make sure you're just hearing F, like, and then it goes back to the chorus again. Um, uh, shouting to God with a voice of triumph and all the same rhythms there. Then we get to the bridge. Uh, bridge is pretty simple. Um, wide open, loud and wide open. So it'd be like a, whoa. repeat that, uh, and then you add two more measures of B minor. So that one again, wide open. Right there, I'm even doing an A2 to, to let it ring out even more. So then it goes to the instrumental, which is really just uh, three, four, 
three, four. So uh, that is just the first portion of the chorus. Then we do the chorus, as we have been doing, and then that leads into basically the bridge pattern again. So it would be like in... Um, it would be like in... Shout unto God With a voice of triumph So that last time that you do the chorus, um, you won't do the, the, the choppy part on the, with a voice of triumph. You'll go right into a bridge pattern. With a voice of triumph so on. And then uh, you do that uh, portion of the bridge. Uh, the B minor at the very end has a total of four measures. is resurrection power. Here we go. Three, four. Boom, boom, boom. Uh, and then E, like three E's right there to match with a hey, hey, hey. So, um, hope that helps. There's a lot there, but again, take it piece by piece. Once you um, get the sections down, um, it, it's going to feel a lot easier. So, but the key will be to constantly be thinking ahead. I would practice with a metronome. If you got to do it slowly, uh, that's fine. Then bring it back up to speed. That's a perfect way to do it. So, um, hope this helps. Let me know if you have any questions. Thanks.